there's a major resistance here a trend line resistance that we need to look into next week if you see a close above this resistance trend line huge probability that market will bounce off this trend line Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Leia Sonry. Today, I want to show you the quick update on USDJPY and what are the potential setup that's likely to mature next week on USDJPY. It's been long I released video on this channel. Please, I'm sorry about that. I'll be releasing video going forward on USDJPY, other pairs like Euro USD, Building Pounds USD, and some other major pairs. For some of you that have been requesting for beginners training videos, I will resume my videos, my training on beginner series training video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, click the like buttons and notification buttons. My road to 1k, subscribe to my channel, please. Thank you. Today, I will see that USDJPY have this high in 2023 and then quickly create this low in 2024 and then make another high 2024, then make this high in 2024. So let's study what happened on USDJPY. You can see that we have high, 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 low, high, 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 high low, and then we have this high, high. And then what happened is a very dramatic drop on this pair and then it's almost take up uh, this low the only thing that's left there is that the pair does not close below this low it's only grab the liquidity from this low and that is what we are expressing now so if you look at this you can see that uh this pair is ranging between this place and this place for the old uh 2023 and then the part of 2024 we have this massive breakout of this uh this parallel line in 2024 so this pair back to the range and what are the things that we need to uh, focus our attention in this coming weeks let's go to our uh, four hours time frame on 12 hours time frame you can see that this pair has bounced back of this uh, support level and if you check the daily time frame you can see that we have a massive member right of this support which is telling us that we might have a major push to the outside can you see this uh, massive uh, member on on a daily time frame we may have upside on this pair so next week i want us to project ourselves for something there's little things that happen on four hours that i want to show you on four hours time frame you can see that we have you can see now we have invalid head and shoulder right there a market came back to retest the neckline already and then according to the inverted head and shoulder the target should be somewhere around this point let's measure it so somewhere around there should be the target for the inverted head and shoulder and which is correlated with the target of when the market goes up so the market is about to Hit the target of the inverted head and shoulder i saw this inverted head and shoulder and i've made some profits of this first try but when the market come back i took some of the profit that i makes what are the things that we need to look into there's a major resistance here a trend line resistance that we need to look into next week if you see a close above this resistance trend line huge probability that market will bounce off this trend line to have a retest on this major uh, push and then before the market go to the upside so that are the things that I'm expecting that market will do this coming week uh when market hit the target of this head and shoulder and we can see how the same target right there you can see how the same target right there which is almost at uh, the kissing of the trend line and market is almost hitting the target on this inverted head and shoulders what next on this pair is a push to the downside before the major push or market can continue on the downside that is the two things that we might likely have on a uj in the coming week so the first thing is to wait for market to close above this trend line then wait for market to retest uh, before we have a push to the outside so there's this inverted head and shoulder that we saw on higher time frame right from when the uh, the pair was created we see this inverted head and shoulder and the market break the neckline and the market never retested so maybe market can retest later we don't know but for now let's keep our eye on this on this pair if we see the market close back in this next six months if market close back inside 151.89 that means market may likely want to have a push down and if you look at the three month time frame you can see that we are looking something close to bearish and golfing this three month candle will close in the next 10 days so and this candle really look like a bearish and golfing if you have a close below 151.89 we might likely see a push to the downside on this pair we might likely see a push to the upside then market come back to this uh, to retest this neckline one more time and this thing the old thing is looking more or less like another head and shoulder in play you can see that we have the shoulder here and we have the head here so we may likely have another shoulder 
before market come to the downside so this particular thing is looking like head and shoulder in play again so that's reason why i'm hoping markets will go up to probably kiss 151.89 and then come down to the dark side and retest this this uh, head and shoulder that we have in the long run on uj that is what we have for us on uj today subscribe to my channel click the like buttons and the notification button to see my next video thank you